I actually, I like this because um, for a lot of times you guys get the small mystery boxes. You guys don't get acrylic powder. And I, I've always said before um, that not polished is, uh, powder is probably one of the top tier ones out there. So um, I've seen a lot of people get small mystery boxes and they, they, they don't get anything at all. Like just maybe some top coats or stickers or something like that. And I, I don't know. I, that's what I, I would say that you also get something you need to you can use. So some powders is definitely great. Um, look like the small one has this nice nude. This reminds me of a, a nude panther. Probably great for ombre here. A nice burgundy color. There's sky magnetta. Um, this is probably gonna be like a dark purple once you use it. A lot of times you use that uh, purples. And a pink palace. So like a pink. Oh, G11, like a light nude, They're not bad. Two light nudes. And what else, what else? Uh, black polish, I believe. Let me check, this is black, right? Yep, black gel polish, dual. So this is their, so if you guys are, that have gotten that, there you go. Black polish and white polish is always like very usable because you can use it for line art, you can use it for a variety of things. Um, of course, the standard stickers, you know, some flames, Chanel stickers. I really don't use stickers that often, but my staff will probably use this, Dragon stickers. So um, value-wise, you know, not polished, I would say $15 per a pop for a powder. So that's like average on the market. Um, that's $30 here. Ooh, I didn't even look at this. What is this? Oh, the jewelry gel. So this is probably like $15 here. So $65, let's say five bucks for this, 70. If you were to buy it full price, stickers, just give this about eight, $9 for these three stickers. So about $80. I don't know what the price of the small, the small was on their website. So if you guys can let me know, but get about $80, around $100 here. Um, I'd love for you to put something like this together. Um, I, I definitely want to do a mystery box this year, guys, but this is the small box. So the small box comes with stickers, the jewelry gel, which is great. All this is usable. Um, I've seen a lot of companies, I'm not gonna name any names that, and I, a lot of my students and a lot of my followers will tell me too, like they got the mystery box and some of the stuff in there is like, it doesn't make sense. Like, you know, it's not, it's not something that nail techs would use or, or it's a product that is not really used often or hard to use. I don't like that. Um, it's, I know that mystery boxes is a way for a lot of companies to get rid of stuff that they're overstocked on or they want to get bring new inventory, which is great. You get a good deal, but at the end of the day, I really want to be able to use anything that I want to spend my money on. That's important. So the small mystery box stickers, four powders, which is great. You always use acrylic powder. Jewelry glue, perfect. Black gel polish. Can't complain. I don't know how much the small was, but maybe you guys can tell me if those who bought it. Yep, they are all sold out. Yeah, you missed the mystery box, they're all sold out. I was, but just for anybody, um, Young Nails. Uh, anybody get the Young Nails? I, I, every year, I, I feel like Young Nails does the same thing. Um, they'll give you guys the uh, uh, core powders and their slick pour or the color powders, a little smaller, uh, small container of powders. This is the medium box. Let's see what the medium box has. So I don't know, like I said, Young Nels has some great products, but I, I, I kind of don't like their mystery boxes because um, like you'll get like stuff like, uh, I don't know, uh, brush cleaner or a gel, bunch of gel polish. A lot of you guys don't probably even use gel polish. This is the medium. Oh. Let's get rid of all this popcorn and stuff here. Oh, so much stuff. So medium is probably, a lot bigger. Get rid of those. So we got powder again. Mm. I ordered all three. I'm made since I see not polished. <laughs> yes, I bought young nails. Still waiting for the order to be delivered. Let's see. I hate your nails. You bought for the last couple years. I don't know. I feel like they could have given you guys what um, their cover powders, their monomer, what you guys use the most of. Um, but sometimes they don't do that. They, I, I, I feel like they're trying to liquidate. Uh, a little foil, 
whatever. Um, this is probably another jewelry glue, so each both pass gets it. You get an acrylic brush. Um, it's a size 12. So this is from the sealant. It's not crimped yet. So if you guys saw this, this means that you see this brush, even mine does this. It's, this does not clamp for real. It's just for looks because this is wood. If they clamp down too hard, it will crack the wood. So this is a sealant. Sometimes in heat, humidity, the sealant gets broken, a little glue will fix that for you. It is not crimped, so definitely you have to crimp it yourself. Size 12 brush. Pretty soft. Mystery box, so those of you guys that are getting a brush in there. What is this? Spider gel. I've seen a lot of this. Oh, I've never seen them actually put the toothpick in here for the actual spider gel. So you know these spider gels, you just take the toothpick and you kind of string it, string it, string it. So it looks like it's like a silver, black, purple, gold, white, and black. Those of you guys that like spider gel, I don't really use it often, but hey, you see a lot of designs now, fall designs. Pigment, I have this also. So it's a nice little pigment thing. Um, you guys see me use pigment powder before with my ink marble. Anybody open any other mystery boxes? Oh, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys gotta give not pause the time. They sold out of all the mystery boxes, so they're probably in the process of shipping it out. So give them a little time. So you guys see me use pigment for standard pigment, um, just like how I, I have in there. And we have a lot more stickers over here. Designer stickers. Okay. Gel polish. This time we got a pink polish. Is this Nude Panther by any chance? So I would like to use Nude Panther. N17, I don't know, but it's a nice pink, pinky nude. Let me see this. Oh, it's a pinky nude, nice. Good for fall right here. Like a copper, glitter, gold. I don't know if every boss is like different gel polishes. I don't, I'm unsure, probably it is. But this time we have, I'm gonna get everything out but the powder, um, their ink. So this is uh, ink marbling. If you guys ever seen my ink marbling, I think mine's a little more pigmented than this. Is mine's more of a neon consistency. You got blue and a pink here. I know these two make purple, so that's a good combination by them. If they if they gave you guys each like two colors like this, it's actually equivalent to three because if you mix these two colors together on the nail, um, it'll be three colors. I don't know. Do you guys want me to do some ink marbling samples? <laughs> Can you save this and come back and watch it later? Yeah, of course. Of course, of course, of course. So powder wise, we have six powder in here. So um, that's good. Actually, this is this is there from last year's summer collection. Actually one of my favorites, um, Hotline Bling. Um, the color is actually very vibrant. This is actually a very good color. And this is probably from their last season, but I really like this color. Sweet spot, so a soft pink. Mm, I don't know if this was reflective or not. But it looks like a glitter blue, like a slate blue. It's not reflective, it's just glitter. Clear. Good to have. You can do it in a second. Hey, Tracy, how are you? Yeah, Joan had two squeeze gel primer, large white. Yeah, I don't know. Like, do you really need two primers? And the alcohol wipes that you, I don't know. I always like, you know, you guys, when I talk about Young Nails, it's not like their company have great products. They have very big social media. I really think they can do a lot more with the resources they do have. But I feel like there's, they're in this like limbo where they want to just consistently push for um, the same thing over and over. I really think they can be a little bit more innovative with their products and promote a little bit better, especially with their mystery boxes. So we got, ooh, this is a nice green. And another purple, this is the same. So in the medium mixery box, you have six acrylics, which I, I, I would price not polish as acrylic um, average on the market as $15 a pop. That's what they're selling at. And I think it's worth it for that price, um, for the quality. You have the spider gel set, you have a, that set. You have two ink, if you, if you got these two colors, just know that when you use these two colors, it makes a purple. 
So this pink and blue make a purple. I don't know if this was done purposely by not polished. If it, it was, that's pretty good on their, their half because they're actually giving you three colors instead of two. Um, when, you know, my ink marbling is the same concept, a jewelry, jewelry glue. And you get two polish just this time, different colors. And the foil and also the acrylic brush. So, not bad. It's pretty nice and full, you know? So let's put this up and let's go to the very last one, the large. I know a lot of you guys bought all three, so. But I think more or less you're gonna get the same thing I'm getting, except maybe different colors probably. Um, we don't know, let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is the large. So this box looks like about, ooh, let me, I'm gonna have to go a little higher. All right, this is my knife. All right, let's guess what's in here. I'm probably gonna think there's gonna be at least 10 powders. Um, some probably from gel polish. Maybe some tips, a bling box maybe. Um, if they put their a liner gel, like a small liner gel kit in there, they're like $20 each. Oh, uh, the powder. You bought the website a little bit different. I mean, you probably buying like average prices a little bit different too, so. I'm looking for things I can use. So, so far, both boxes is something I, that I can use. You know, something that you, you've known that, that the company's for, their powder, okay? I don't want, I'm not wanna, just because you're buying that cheap and you're getting a good deal does not mean that they can just give you whatever that they want. That's why I look for in mystery boxes. Maybe it's just me. Um, if other companies would just listen to me, um, they'll know why they're getting complaints every year. Yes, you can put some stuff in there that maybe are, you know, just the fillers, but you have to have a core amount of stuff. Oh. All right, all right, all right. First, we gotta get rid of this pink popcorn. Pink popcorn. Yeah, I mean, G messaged me and he was like, hey, uh, all the, I, I, I was supposed to do the opening like a couple days ago because I got it like right before Thanksgiving. We've been so busy Thanksgiving. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and I was like, I'm so sorry. He's like, it's okay. Everything's sold out, but just do an unboxing for everybody. Look, 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 look. Did I not call it? tips so long coffin tips um mm. i sell tips so i like to see what they have <laughs> i'm pretty sure Tao and Jay don't mind you know we just we're in friendly competition okay these are just similar to mine nice these would be very useful they're actually um long coffin i, I would I, I would actually say these is xl I'm, yeah xl not long long would be a little bit shorter medium long but these are clear coffin pre-shaped non-C curve tips. And when it says non-C curve, it does not mean that there's no, no curve on it. It means that there is a curve, but it's not as, as curved. Because I think a lot of nail techs are really struggling working with uh, really curved tips because it takes a lot of control. So this is actually a nice, about 15 bucks there. Hey Andy, how are you? You need to do a mystery box all year round? <laughs> I will do a mystery box maybe in, the, in, the, in, the, in Christmas time. Um, I just wasn't prepared for it. So we got some oil, it's okay, usable. Like I said, things that you wouldn't use. You're always gonna use oil, cuticle oil, right? So yes, this is maybe like a small item and you may think, oh, it's just a cuticle oil pen, but it's something you're gonna use. It's not something that's gonna be sitting in your drawer that you've got that, you, like, you know, that you're not gonna use. That's what I'm looking for. This looks like an art brush to me, a liner brush. Ah, it's a 3D flat. So kind of like my 3D flat, um, this is used for ink marbling for when you got ink earlier. The 3D end is when you use for, uh, oh, it's nice and soft, um, for 3D flowers. So this is a nice brush, dual end. I like these brushes a lot better, like the style brush than the Amazon ones where they have no, no caps. So this is actually good for those of you guys that do a lot of uh, gel ink marbling and stuff like that. So a lot of fillers here. Oh, no, there's actually something in here. Okay, I thought, this, I thought they're just filling stuff up. Okay, we'll get to that last. Okay, this is a pigment brush, looks like. Um, pigment brush and sponge. This is for applying pigment, I would say. Um, I would prefer this to be a little more flat, but that's why. This sponge end is for you to do ombres with gels together, blending gels together. Um, they're all sold out, Garrett. I think, um, what, well, Jay told me this year that he was doing this just to give back to the supporters. I'm pretty sure he didn't really want to make money off of this. It's just a lot of stuff that, you know, it's a good way for people to try their products. You know, that's what mystery boxes are, guys. 
Um, some companies use it as a way for people to try their products at a cheaper price around that time of year. Uh, some people want to you know, get rid of some old items that maybe they're not selling as fast and so they can restock on inventory, which is fine. That's normal. That's what mystery boxes are for. You're getting a great deal, so uh, what more can you ask for? Also, the jewelry glue. And let's see what we can get out instead of the pot. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's go. Um, foil boxes. I don't use foil a lot, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys when you use them, um, this pattern is probably underneath, nude, encapsulate on top. Foil. So another foil. This one's maybe for, oh, for winter. It's good. A lot of snowflakes here. Doesn't mean that I don't use it, that my staff not gonna use it. Some Gucci stickers. Only one sticker in this one, which is not bad. And you get two of the pigment. I really don't run through a lot of pigment unless you guys are spilling your pigment, but having an extra set, not too bad. Okay, let me guess. I said earlier there's 10 powders, right? Well, I was wrong. There's a lot more than 10 powders. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I was off by two, guys. Off by two. <laughs> Everybody looking at yellow already? Mm. This yellow is actually from their um, last summer collection. Uh, glow me the money. This actually glows in the dark. It glows really well. Um, yeah, this is actually a good, good one too. So acrylics. Um, you got a blue here. I think this is ex-boyfriend. No, blue ball, which is kind of the sister of ex-boyfriend. Okay, colors aside, great colors. I wanted to show, see this. I think this is like um, flakes that you do for encapsulating. Probably great for the holidays, actually. Got some pretty... This is, this is like... I wouldn't use this for sprinkling, like a sugaring on top. I would not use this as an acrylic because it looks like it's not an acrylic base. It's more of a for sugaring. These are for encapsulating. They're like little mylars cut up already. Just a usable. Okay, what is this here? Ah, okay. I know what this is. It's a dip tray. A lot of you guys are, are using pixie beads and stuff like that. I've never seen one as extensive as this. It's actually pretty nice. Um, I actually sold these, but they're not as nice as these. Um, this is for pouring powder in for you doing dip dipping you know and then if you want to sprinkle powder on the nail sprinkle it on there so you can remove it and, and redeposit it back in redeposit back in especially for pixie beads I know we use up pixie beads so much and it just gets, gets so wasted so this is a good little neat neat tool to have I want to see what's in here though oh there's actually I was wrong there's actually more stickers down here so I get a variety of stickers oh butterflies okay Oof, let me get this open. Ah, gel polish. So they package it so it didn't, doesn't break because it's such a big box. I wonder, if, usually when, when, when G, the CEO, sends me stuff, he packages himself. So it looks like just gel polish. And let's see what's in here. He needs to package himself. I wonder if he did it this time or not. I'm sure this is gel polish also. Yep, gel polish. This is a white. Nice. This is not gel polish. I'm trying to see what this is. Ah, ink marbling. Man, makes me want to do an ink marbling tutorial for you guys. You get, would you guys stay around for an ink marbling tutorial? <laughs> I'm about to start the live again. Oh, you get more than three this time. More than two this time. Okay, looks like we have a brown. A two browns and a green. I'm trying to see what this one would look like if I ever done that. Maybe later. So, in this box, we have the tips, which is probably most sought after, but you get 12 acrylics. I mean, 12 acrylics, that's a hundred bucks. So if you paid under a hundred dollars on this, you already got a deal. Gel polish, gel polish, oval 3D brush, ombre brush, cuticle oil, foils, pigment, jewelry glue. You're here for it. 
What? Do it? You hate ink?